Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you a painting of some black cows on Dartmoor. Now if you're not familiar, um, Dartmoor is a huge and incredibly beautiful national park here in Devon uh, in the southwest of England. It's got rolling hills, hedge-lined fields, huge rocky outcrops known as tors, and a lot of the landscape is often covered with heather and gorse, so you get amazing colours and lighting up there. But one of the coolest things about the area is the fact that the animals are often allowed to roam free. So you'll see uh, miniature ponies, wild horses, sheep and cows wandering free from, you know, for miles at a time sort of thing. So it's really good. You can be driving along in the car and then all of a sudden, you know, a group of cows might wander across the road. So you have to have to keep your eyes open. Anyway, this particular painting is called Heather Bed. And this was inspired by a group of three black cattle. Uh, they, I think they're Angus breed, but they might be Dexter, not entirely sure. And they were just, two out of the three were sort of settled down in the heather, taking a bit of a rest. And then the third one was off in the distance, uh, as you can see here, just grazing away. So I took a very considered approach with this painting. This is quite a big painting, actually. I think it's around 40 inches by 30 inches. So it's a, it's a big canvas. Um, I deliberately kept the sky and the distant hills very low on detail and then the foreground plant life the heather and gorse I kept that very loosely suggested I didn't go into much detail at all really and the reason for that is I wanted the focus of the viewer to be very much on the head of this cow here you notice that the other two cow are also all, the other two cows are also rendered with very little detail but in contrast the head of this cow is in is in full detail I'll come back to the cows in the moment, but I just wanted to highlight something I did in the background. So what I did was the first layer of paint I put down, I actually used acrylic iridescent blue paint. And that has a shimmering effect. And having put that down, I then painted over this for the sky and the distant hills. But I allowed some of that iridescent underlayer to show through. And this gives the impression that it's it almost gives the impression that it's raining on the distant hills because as you walk past the painting, the from top left to bottom right diagonal streaks of the iridescent blue show through intermittently. And so you get this impression that rain is falling from the sky. It's a subtle effect, but, it, but it's definitely there. For the rest of the painting, I used conventional acrylic first. And then in particular on this cow, I used the Atelier Interactive Acrylic. And that's the paint which allows you to blend acrylic by reactivating it with ju by just spraying the paint with water. And that allows you to achieve these really beautiful blended blues and blending this sort of burgundy red into the blue. And it also allows you to do some very subtle textural work on the head of the cow. Anyway, um, that's pretty much how I created this painting. As I said, it's called Heather Bed. As usual for these little art artist reviews, I'll put the link to the high resolution image in the description below the video. So if you want to zoom in on a part of the painting, for example, if you want to look at the eye of this cow, what you can do is click on the link in the description. That'll take you to this page. And then when you click on the link, you get a full resolution preview of how of the brushwork and everything that I've used to create that cow. So that's pretty much all I've got to say on this one. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this painting. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you'll join me for the next video.